villages. 1370 AM, 963 FM, the source. Five minutes after nine o'clock. There's a lady in the room, Robin, who brightens the room when she walks in. She does. <laughs> she is amazing. Burn Pareso is here. Burn is our medical reporter from Good for All Marketing and uh, gives us information so that we can make better choices when it comes to our health. I guess that's a good way to put that. Good morning, Burn. How are you? Good morning, fantastic. Oh my How gosh. You? Where's motion? I microphone. How are you, Robin? There you are. <laughs> 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 so yeah, I don't usually use that microphone. You haven't been here in a while, so I'm going to blame it on that. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to make sure you can hear me. You look nice. <laughs> Thank you. I, you're not Beautiful. cold anymore, right? We all. It's just, just right. Just a little bit. Just and a little. I like this weather. You do. Chilly morning, January the eighth already. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Fast. Anyway, before I proceed, we have a birthday um, celebrant for January. Um, Dr. Asad Kamar is celebrating birthday today. Nice. Happy birthday to you. Do you have a cold? Um, not really. It's just, it's January the 8th. It's the first week of the year. Yeah. <laughs> Does that normally happen to you? Because <laughs> we both have colds. I'm good. Okay. I am good. So next year, January 8th, I'll just talk to you and <laughs> expect that same voice. Same voice. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dr. Comer, happy birthday to you. And we also have a very good friend, Lori um, Armstrong. Um, and the third one is Dr. Weena, Weena Favis in Leesburg. So, those are, you know, the birthday uh, celebrants for January. Now, um, <clears throat> and let's move on to the right to the very, very uh, <laughs> substance of you know, why I'm always here. <laughs> I'm always here because I want the community to be on top of their health. And you, and you don't know take, how much of an effect you have. Take charge of your health. And um, this is the right time to schedule your appointment. It's the first month of the year. Call your doctor and schedule your well check. You well check. Well check. Now, what do we benefit from taking care and from seeing this, you know, all uh, our medical providers from, you know, visiting our doctors? Well, I should say doctor because you have to see your family doctor first before you see the others. Now, I had a call uh, last week and this person does not have a family doctor. And she said that I really need a skin doctor. Skin. Sorry, a skin doctor, skin doctor because she has disorders. Uh, okay. It sounds like psoriasis right. to me. Right. And anyway, I said, well, um, most of um, these people, because it's more than one, um, they do not know that you have to have a family doctor to refer you to a Oh, skin you have specialist. to have a starting point. That is correct. So your family doctor will make decisions for you. And not only that, you might go see this doctor for skin disorder. However, this doctor will not only do the skin, you know, analysis or refer you to, I mean, he or she will be able to help you decide because when you go see for your physical exam or well check, Everything is done from blood work to, you know, eye exam, whatever, eye referral. Or you're, you know, if you're over 50, you get your call. Boy, he's going to be busy, or she, whenever <laughs> I finally get one. <laughs> so there's always 45 minutes, depending on your medical condition. Oh, really? So usually you just don't go to your family doctor and say, Doctor, I need to be referred to a skin specialist. Ah, because you are there for your first visit. This is a 45 minutes mm -hmm. um, consultation. Get, so what correct. do people look for? I, see, I need a doc. I don't have a doctor. Well, first of all, before you go see your, your first, well, not a first doctor, but go for your visit, you want to know what kind of family history do you have? Oh, my own history. Right. Heart attack in the family. What's the cause of death? You, that, you almost sang it. 
Well, <laughs> heart attack in the family <laughs> because it's pretty common. Oh, <laughs> is that As right? a trader, you never know. But, but this is it, something that you want to know first. What should I look for? Like, should I look for an office that serves coffee, like in the waiting room? <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, and let me, you know, let uh, this is this is a scenario last week, and she said that she just arrived from New Jersey, oh, okay. and she has all the family members, and she does not know where to go. And I said, well, you got you called the right place, but anyway, I usually match it according to the location of your home. Oh, okay. Oh, or where do you work? Because I don't want her to be seeing a doctor on the other side of town, mm -hmm. and then she lives in Marion Oaks. So we have a lot of medical that providers makes sense. in that yeah. area. Yeah. Like there's actually one or two. Heart of uh, Central Florida is right there at the entrance. Mm -hmm. And then doctor um, used to be Dr. Oko. That's another oh, location okay. there. Right, but there's a family... Um, trying to remember there's a PA there I could be wrong but anyway I used to remember this, all the this names this topic came up once before and I want you to know that we got a lot of calls after the topic I actually had a, a gentleman that was telling me I, I want to thank WOCA because I think he called right after we were discussing about yeah, yeah. we have uh, we have plenty of medical providers in the area and if you live in Marion Oaks you know we have providers out there if you live in the southeast area we have several um, the only thing is you know when you google and try to find a provider you can't just say southeast doctors that's you know. why we call you <laughs> that's when <laughs> that's when I have my office it's three five two six two two six four three two and I can help you with that so anyway going back to making your appointment and if this is your first time make sure that you know you ask about you know what are what are the history of the family what happened to your grandparents do you have diabetes do you have hypertension um, you know the heart attack and all that my grandmother had a dachshund. Does that matter? <laughs> <laughs> you might want to check. Yeah. <laughs> then you, you can't miss, you know, yeah. it's, it's always good to be able to relay messages yeah. to your current provider. And he and she would refer you and help you decide, you know, what to do after that appointment. So again, if you're over 50 years old and haven't had colon screening, you know, early detection, can save lives. We talk about that a lot. Exactly. And Seven Hill Gastroenterology is accepting new patients. Oh, now, nice. If you happen to call, okay, here's another way when I mention about go find a family doctor. Now, if you want to do the shortcut, no, I'm not guaranteeing that the office will help you. But you can also, you can also say, I need a colon screening, but I do not have a family doctor. Now, at Seven Hill Gastro, we would find you a doctor. Would you? Oh, how wonderful. All right. Really, really. So you can call 352-401-1919. My telephone directory sometimes, you know, it doesn't work, so I have to think a little harder. What's the telephone number? <laughs> I think you do have but a call. It is 352-401-1919. You sung that, too. <laughs> <laughs> singing today so anyway uh get your appointment i um you know i'm encouraging everybody and you can be a blessing to your friend or a family member by actually telling them that we need to get and set up our doctor's appointment now do not put it aside when's the last time you saw your general practitioner uh, probably um actually this week you did yes i always you are fighting a cold i am um, it's just this sniffling. Is this sneezing? Do you want a tissue? <laughs> Please, <laughs> that would help. So I thought that um, I thought that I'm the only one. I try. I try to hold on. I'll lower you. your microphone. Go okay. ahead. Go ahead. Blow. Okay. <laughs> That's good already. <laughs> um, so I saw my doctor first of the week, uh -huh. and um, you know um, I have a very good doctor here. Do you want to name your doctor? Um, Dr. N. Patel. Oh, yes. Oh, His yes. real name is Dr. Narendra Kumar Patel. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. And okay. his okay. office is located at 
uh, actually behind Paddock Mall. Behind Are us? Are we behind Paddock Mall? Behind us. Sort of kind yeah. of to the side. Location. I think I know what you mean. Right. And he also has another geriatric doctor there, Dr. Raj Patel. So they both are, I would say, incredible doctors. They would, they would sit down and take their time to see you. And these are good assets. Were they? You know. Do you know what I want? I want a doctor who has a sense of humor. Because I like to make silly jokes. Really? Um, and if, hmm. I, if I make a silly joke and they're just like... Would they, would they and, pick it up? <laughs> <they're> dumb. <laughs> That's dumb. <laughs> anyway, again, be on top of your health community. Schedule your appointment for your well check. <laughs> It is, um, you know, first month of the year. So to be able to stay healthy and survive the year 2018, you know, take charge. Take charge. And I think I'm... Um, and be large. Be large and take charge. And remember, health is I got the be large part under control. <laughs> <laughs> no, you are you are saying that. I, I didn't say it. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. <laughs> anyway, this is all for this week. And um, next week, we will be uh, talking about uh, where do we go, health services that are recommended, or where we will we recommend health you. Health services as as... recommended. <laughs> You're singing today. <laughs> do I really? Do you hear it? <laughs> <laughs> is, or is that my accent? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> or you have not heard me in a while. That's that's it. Oh, maybe that's what it is. Exactly. That's what it is. Well, listen, I'm Bern Parisa yes, from GFA Medical Marketing, Staffing, and Business Development. You can call me at 352 622 6432. Leave a message. Messages are checked every 15 minutes. Now, did I sing? <laughs> yes, you did. I, I probably should yes. be singing next week. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to say have a great weekend, everyone. And again, be on top of your health. Thank you, Bern. This is all for today. And I'll see you again <laughs> next week. Bye-bye. All right. We'll be right back.